Arizona Secretary of State Katie Hobbs is trying to repair her image for the way she's handled a lawsuit involving racial and sex discrimination. Today, Hobbs releasing a three-minute video publicly apologizing to the plaintiff in that lawsuit and vowing to be a champion for diversity as she runs for governor. Joe Dana has the latest on the apology video and what comes next. I've spoken to two prominent Democrats in the state who say they're waiting to see how the subject of this apology, Talanya Adams, responds to all of this. Her response could help or hurt Katie Hobbs' chances at the Democratic nomination for governor. Please allow me to say this clearly and unequivocally. I apologize to Ms. Adams. Secretary of State Katie Hobbs expressing remorse for the discrimination that one-time Senate staffer Talanya Adams experienced in 2015. Adams has now convinced two juries in two separate trials that the state Senate discriminated against her when it terminated her without just cause. At the time of the firing, Hobbs, then Senate Minority Leader, was the boss of Adams. I'm truly sorry for the real harm that I caused Ms. Adams and her family. Hobbs also apologized for what she called a short-sighted and defensive response to last month's jury verdict. After the verdict, Hobbs said there were other factors for Adams' firing that had nothing to do with race or gender. But the Senate didn't present any other factors during trial. For her part, Adams said on 12 News Sunday Square off recently, Hobbs shouldn't be governor. When I was fired and reached out to Hobbs personally, um, she couldn't even respond, right? I mean, leaders don't, they don't hide. Um, they don't go silent. Secretary Hobbs is now vowing to fight discriminatory practices by creating positions dedicated to equality if she's elected governor. I know that the only way to earn your trust is to not only continue to reflect upon my past actions, but to put in the work. Talanya Adams tells 12 News she plans to publicly address Katie Hobbs' apology tomorrow. Joe Dana, 12 News. All right, Joe, thank you.